It's a stormy day in L.A., but last night Kyle Kuzma made it rain. 14 points in the first quarter on his way to 20. Will he get his second straight start? That may depend on the big guys. Anthony Davis was sidelined last night. He and LeBron both have injury issues to be resolved. It's the Lakers and Blazers in the final game of this four-game homestand to open this season. Tip-off is at 7 here on Spectrum Sportsnet. The Lakers have won 8 of the last 11 meetings, including 4 of 5 in the opening round of last season's playoffs. As we say hello and welcome to Access Sportsnet Lakers, brought to you by your Southern California Toyota dealers. I'm Allie Clifton, joined by the Hall of Famer, big game James Worthy, seven-time champ Robert Ori. Mike Bresnan is here. Mike Trudell will join us in a minute. Geeter is running point for halftime and post. Rob, it's the first time we've seen you since the real show began. Good to yeah, see you. I know. Happy holidays to you guys. I missed you guys. You know, you I had well. Fish here, but I didn't have me here, even though I've Geeter. been here longer. But okay. Well, we talked about you, though. We talked about you on the show. Uh, that's good. And I, I'm, I apologize. I was out doing honeydew, so I didn't get a chance to see uh -huh. the show. You're so, blame Candace. Candace is your fault. The smart man. <laughs> happy wife, happy life is not blaming it on your wife. But I missed the game, though. I missed your show. That's all right. Okay. You can get caught up here. Okay. You don't, up. you don't record it? <laughs> Thank I, you, I, big I, game. I'm not in that day and, and age where I can record stuff. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How old are you again? Uh, let's first update you. We've got some update, guys. Uh, the Lakers duo in their status for tonight. LeBron James, who was initially listed as questionable after re-aggravating his left ankle sprain, will play tonight. Anthony Davis will also be in the starting lineup after sitting out last night's win against the T-Wolves with a right calf contusion. So both LBJ and AD are playing. LeBron said if he's ready to go, he will be out there. Are you surprised to see him uh, take the floor tonight, especially with a back-to-back -back this early in the season? I'm a little bit surprised after, you know, I think twice turning an ankle in the last couple of weeks or so. Uh, and then AD, um, you know, with his calf, we talked about that last night, how uh, that could be, you know, difficult sometimes if there's a strain there or I think Fish was talking about sometimes it could be like a groin. So with back to back, I'm a little bit surprised, but you know, this is what the champions do. If they can play, if they feel like they're at that point where they can go, uh, maybe that's 90%, maybe that's 95%. I don't know. They, but give them a shot. So they're leading by example. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little shocked, especially, you know, this early in the season, tweaking the ankle twice. And I think he's playing because, you know what, I feel like he's probably not in playing shape yet. Mm. He's because mm. we know he didn't play that much in preseason, so he's trying to get in and out. And knowing that they're back to back, he'll have tomorrow off, more than likely. And so he's just trying to get that conditioning so he'll be ready down the line. He's also Four. someone that's very aware uh, of what he does against other teams. He's pretty good against the Blazers, guys. 28, <laughs> nine boards, and almost eight assists a game for his career. Yeah. I mean, and he he's realizes he's got some newcomers and. You know, LeBron's a true leader. He's realized, you know, maybe I just want to play, uh, you know, maybe limited minutes with these new guys, keep that cohesiveness going. So there's a variety of reasons why he may be playing, but uh, he's playing. So did Carmelo make the trip? He know? did not. He did not make the trip? We're oh, actually going to get that's, into that in just a that's minute. That's why he was going to play. He want to kick his boy's butt. <laughs> and there's that. I, I, I also think, though, you guys make a really good point. If he feels good enough, and it's early in the season, Rob, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. getting in shape, uh, the games early on, especially you got new faces, uh, you're looking to build that foundation. Uh, it's important to be out there on the floor. Yeah, you got to have some cohesiveness going on in this game. You think about it. He's playing with three guys that spent a lot of minutes that he hadn't played with before. He's getting a little rapport with Gasol, so he's doing that. But I still want to see him get a better rapport with Harold because Harold is a great roller, and they're trying to get that little relationship going there. So he's still learning those guys just like those guys are learning to play with him. You may not have been watching our show, but mm -hmm. you've been watching the game. Good to see. I watched the rerun. <laughs> Let's get you live to Staples Center. we got some more updates with Lakers reporter Mike Trudell. Lake Show looking to win their third straight. What's the latest, Mike? Hey guys, what's happening? Well, the latest, Sally, thankfully you covered is that LeBron James is going to play. It's something I've always appreciated about him, and, and I thought the narrative probably skewed too far in all the preseason talk about how many games potentially he and AD may miss. These guys do want to play. Now, if there's a legit injury uh, like AD had with a cap contusion last game, and th that, sure, they can take the precautious route, but LeBron James is going to play if he feels capable and healthy of playing, and we're going to see him on the floor tonight. Now, there is one other player, though, Basically, the Lakers' third MVP candidate. Uh, you can find out who that is when Frank Vogel answers the question about who's in and who's out momentarily. 
Anthony's going to play. LeBron is going to play. His ankle feels fine, and um, so he'll be in. And uh, uh, Alex is uh, is not going to play tonight, but not because of the wrist. Um, he's not playing because of the league's health and safety protocols. Okay. Uh, is, is that all you can say about that, Frank? Any follow up with uh, with Alex? Sort of how that came about. Forrest Gump. That's all I can say about that. Got it. Um, with a matchup with Portland uh, last year, a, a little bit of a different team. They added two wings in Covington and Jones Jr. Just wonder what you've seen on them from tape, and if you've seen that makes them any uh, any different as an overall team. Yeah, they're different um, for sure, and, and you know we're not going to see them with with Carmelo, but um, you know they're both. Uh, you know, athletic wing defenders, you know, who can impact the game. And, uh, you know, they've given them a, a good early burst uh, in their first two games and, you know, definitely think they're uh, they're better at those positions. Uh, Dan? Hey, Frank. Um, I'm curious, how have you been able to kind of keep staff um, from, and I guess maybe, is all the staff good with, like, contact tracing and stuff, first of all? And, how have you been able to keep them safe when you, as you've had these players kind of fall into these health and safety protocols? Well, everything we do, uh, you know, at work, so to speak, or in our travel party and everything is is uh, designed to, you know, not only keep us safe from the virus, but, uh, you know, t to protect us from, you know, quarantine, you know, situations. You know, if, uh, if we're not following the protocols, and you know, and, and uh, a staff member is in, in close contact with someone, then um, you know they're going to be subject to a potential close contact uh, quarantine. Um, you know, that's that's at work. If we're following, pro that's, that's why we feel feel like it's it's safe to go through an NBA season the way we're doing it. You know, because um, all these protocols are in place to keep everyone safe. So we make sure we follow them, and you know, I think the. You know, the, the things that you have to think about is, you know, that's, that's not the only place people are. You know what I mean? If, uh, if any of us has a, a situation where a family member tests positive or, or something like that, um, you know, we could all be subject to, to, to that type of uh, close contact quarantine. And, um, but it's, in terms of what we're doing at, at work, like these, these protocols are, are designed to keep us safe. All right, there's Frank Vogel. And look, guys, bottom line, the biggest difference between this team and the Blazers and really the Lakers and many other teams, their two superstars can play and impact the game on both ends. LeBron and AD, offense and defense, and really Dame and CJ haven't been able to have that same kind of defensive impact. We'll see if they can get some pickup from the new wings they got there up in Portland. No doubt about it. Thanks so much, Mike. Guys, before we go to break, we obviously want to touch on the fact that no Alex Crusoe tonight, as well as you mentioned Carmelo Anthony, did not travel with the Blazers due to health and safety protocols put in by the league. This is just another element. It is what it is, the day and age of what we're living in with COVID-19. Uh, teams will have to adjust and adapt on the fly. Yeah, no question. I mean, they did an exceptional job inside the bubble, uh, but you have to know that outside the bubble, things can't be the same. So. I think the, the, the minimum risk they can, they can keep down will be good, but we are going to have situations where guys are going to have to, you know, uh, adhere to protocol. So hopefully it'll be, you know, limited to less, but uh, outside the bubble, it is a lot more difficult to handle, uh, obviously, than within. Yeah. Robert puts a lot of emphasis on the Lakers' depth. Yeah, it does, and, and it's, it's very going to be very crucial because you never know who's going to come in contact with the virus. And, and, and it's amazing how it's something that you can take all the precautions that you can. And, and it's somebody that's outside of your family coming. I mean, who knows if your wife, your girlfriend, your brother, your sister goes to the market and comes back, then you catch it. And it's, it's amazing that, that the NBA is controlling and not having that many cases because it, this virus is deadly. The thing that's crazy is the Lakers haven't even traveled. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and here we are. Which is why we are practicing Social distance. People always wonder why you're standing. Cause always. I enjoy standing. It's comfortable. Rob's back's gonna be hurting from sitting down for so long over there in the sir. It already hurts from 16 years in the NBA. What up, Bridge? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Six feet apart, 20 feet apart, masks at all times. Do it, people. Do it. Keep it here for the Lakers and Blazers at seven o'clock. Kenny Pope has been knocking them down this season. A perfect three for three last night from the.